Alright, so welcome to MW Newscast. This is Michael. Today we got interesting news for you. Let's start with first news: scientists sound alarms on noise pollution. Noise is becoming one of the biggest pollutants in modern life, but the risk is often underestimated, despite being linked to increased risk of early death, according to research conducted by scientists. Our world is getting louder every time, and the increase of noise pollution is hurting people, animals, and even plants. It is a trend that can be heard everywhere, from the big cities to the most remote pockets of nature. Excessive noise can lead to metabolic diseases, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart attacks, sleep disturbances, and stress, but also seriously interferes with people's daily activities at school, at work, at home, and during leisure time. It can affect all age groups. According to our report by the United Nations Development Program (UNDP), more trees, bushes, and shrubs in cities could reduce the problem. They disperse and dampen noise while contributing to a better climate and city landscape. Scientists have shown that people are less stressed by natural sounds, like birds singing, water splashing, and leaves rustling in trees when the wind blows. Next, why are islands not using green jet fuel? The first commercial fact that used a blend of biofuels in regular jet fuel was operated by KLM in 2011, and test flights date back to 2008, yet by 2019, just before the pandemic. Sustainable Aviation Fuel SAF, accounted for only 0.1% of all jet fuel used worldwide. Sustainable Aviation Fuel SAF, is a low-carbon alternative to conventional fossil-based jet fuel produced by converting readily available materials into a drop-in replacement, crude oil. Raw materials may include mustard seeds, soybeans, non-edible oils, such as used cooking oils and animal fats. The aviation industry has pledged that by 2050, its global carbon emissions will be half that of what they were in 2005, and by 2060, it helps to reach net zero, or the complete absence of emissions. But at current pace, it seems unachievable. The problem is that producing SAF is much more expensive than regular jet fuel. To make the price go down, production needs to ramp up significantly, and new types of SAF must be developed. Last story for the day, a fascinating one, the incredible journeys of migratory animals. Animal migrations are annual larger scale movements between a breeding area and a wintering area. From the Arctic to the Antarctic, from north to south, whales, butterflies, birds, and other animals on the move make some extraordinary journeys. Among the most fascinating journeys, we have The bird that travels the most kilometers is the Arctic Tern. This small bird of only 100 grams travels for several months, from its Arctic breeding grounds to the Antarctic and back. This adds up to over 70,000 kilometers per year, the longest in the animal kingdom. Salmon swim downstream to spend most of their lives at sea, but the hard work comes as they battle against the current and leap up waterfalls to make it back home. Straw colored fruit parts travel up to 180 kilometers before dawn and dispersing seeds and pollen as they feed. Whales hunt in polar regions but travel 18,000 kilometers each year to enjoy warmer waters. The monarch butterfly can travel up to 3,000 kilometers from US and Canada to central Mexico. Leatherback turtles travel up to 10,000 kilometers from Canada to the Caribbean and Alaska to Indonesia. Wild based movement is perhaps the planet's greatest migration spectacle. Emperor penguins lay their eggs a good 100 kilometers from the Antarctic Ocean where they feed. Unbelievable how animals travel long distances. If given the chance to see these journeys, which one would be your favorite? Comment below. And that's all for this edition. If you like your start, share with your contacts and friends. And if not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching MW Newscast. Again, this is Magal and see you next time.